You know, Godzilla movies really aren't my thing, but I just saw Godzilla minus one. And let me tell you, I stood up to cheer, and I haven't done that in years since Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. It felt great. See, Godzilla Minus One isn't a movie. It's a cinematic revolution combining adrenaline-pumping action with a big-screen monster destroying post-World War II Japan, all inside an exploration of the human heart. But it's not a monster mash. It's an intimate human movie with a monster in it acting as an agent of chaos, a force of nature that either breaks people or makes them stronger. A Japanese studio just declared war on Hollywood. And Godzilla Minus One didn't just body slam Tinseltown. It made damn sure that every studio boss from now on has to watch their fans disappear faster than actors lose their dignity on a casting couch. It says made in Japan. What do you mean, Doc? All the best stuff is made in Japan. Unbelievable. Welcome to every cinema rebel, dream chaser, and slayer, and anyone who ever snuck their snacks into a theater. The soul of cinema isn't dead, it is alive and roaring in the land of the rising sun. After 30 plus films in nearly 70 years, Japan's Toho Studios not only delivers the best Godzilla movie to date, but a masterclass in true storytelling. Director Takashi Yamazaki takes it to the next level. He raises the bar so everyone in cinema has to follow him. Fusing a period piece with an electrifying action adventure, a war epic love story, and psychological drama. And oh yeah, a monster movie. But you know what I really love about this film? It's heart. It is pure entertainment gold. Because today, everything Hollywood produces divides people. Godzilla Minus One unites them. This is a fun, wild roller coaster ride that you can share with the audience. It's going to get everybody talking, laughing, smiling, cheering, choking back the tears. Prepare yourself. This is a beacon of hope for the weary as much as it is an anthem of courage for the brave. <laughs> Godzilla Minus One is set at the end of World War II. It's a movie that offers escapism inside of a Japanese war epic. We got Koichi, a kamikaze pilot who fakes engine trouble only so he can avoid fulfilling his duty and completing his mission. He lands on the island of Oda, and there he freezes up. The very first time he has to face off with Godzilla. The prehistoric monster's towering presence almost casts a shadow as big as Koichi's guilt that he feels for not fulfilling his duty to his country and for his inability to save the men on the island. Eventually, he resettles back home in Tokyo's rubble and meets a stranger, Noriko, a young woman who's taking care of an orphan baby named Akiko. Over the next two years, the three strangers form a new family, and together they attempt to build a new life. Unlike Hollywood, which forces together romantic relationships through quick montages, Director Yamazaki allows the couple's relationship to advance organically. The very same way he follows Koichi's new friendships. They naturally grow with a lively crew of a minesweeper boat. He got a job working on a ship defusing mines left over from the war. Never did the filmmaker forget to show the evolution of this friendship grow into a magnetic band of brothers. And he does it brilliantly, using time jumps, but sparingly. Kind of like a master chef spicing a perfect meal. Not too little, not too much. Always to signal progression of the story without compromising its authenticity. This is storytelling at its finest. The movie underscores a very powerful message about the nature of regret. How survivor's guilt can metastasize over time like cancer. Many months pass into 1946. Koichi still wearing his guilt like a crown of thorns. Then suddenly, Godzilla strikes again. And what should be a very simple scene, a monster emerging from the water in the hands of a master filmmaker, transforms into a symphony of color, an explosion of emotions and heightened suspense and mythical roars. I promise you, your eyes will be glued to the screen. 
Watching Godzilla's attack sequence reminded me so much of the movie Jaws. I half expected someone to shout, You're gonna need a bigger boat. What really made this movie special was the delicate balance of its key ingredients. Even over-the-top spectacle has substance to it. All the larger-than-life action, it's not just for show. It is a backdrop that serves to show how people come together and grow because no one is coming to save them. All hell breaks loose when Godzilla arrives in Tokyo. Though the director focuses a majority of the plot on the human element, he never forgets to have a little bit of fun. He throws in all the smashing and crashing and roaring of a good monster movie, showing the citizens running for their lives as Godzilla goes in pure berserker mode, throwing passenger trains and battleships like they were bathtub toys. Yet it's the sound design that brings it all to life. The score itself was so alive, it's like its own character. The crafted audio enhances Godzilla's destructive power every time he unleashes his atomic breath. We go from one moment of pure silence to a brutal explosion that'll have you holding on to the edge of your seat just so you won't be blown away by the mushroom cloud. And I gotta think that somewhere out there, Christopher Nolan's already seen this film and he was decided like, damn. Now I know who won the battle of the atomic blast. And it most definitely isn't Oppenheimer. Godzilla Minus One is here. It is shaking the foundations of cinema by getting your blood pumping, tearing at your heartstrings, and in the end of it all, leaving you in awe of the enduring power of the human spirit. Between the director's eye for framing the scenes, between the personal and the intimate, combined with a stunning cinematography and grand visuals showing the gigantic scale of the beast and the destruction he leaves in his way, all come together to make you feel like the movie is lovingly handmade. The attention to detail is perfect. Godzilla feels like he's a natural part of the world. Even the cast bring the characters to life in such a way that you feel like there's this crew hiding in the shadows recording their lives. But the true stars of the show are the writing and the music. After five minutes, you'll be so pulled into the story, you won't even notice the subtitles. You'll blink, and two hours will have passed. This movie has it all. And only for a $15 million budget does it prove that necessity is the mother of invention. It's made its money back threefold. So while Hollywood makes films for $300 million producing one box office bomb after the under, while Disney and Warner Brothers can't maintain the simple momentum over one measly trilogy, Japan's oldest franchise and Toho Studios City Smashing Icon shows no signs of retreating. Hollywood wish they had the balls to go against their cult to make a movie like this but they don't. Godzilla Minus One is the best movie of the year. It is the first and last masterpiece of 2023. And its messages are timeless. It's about the scars we bear and the inner lines we unleash. About finding hope in the rubble and courage and chaos. About friendships, the hero's journey, family, and love. But not the phony love that Hollywood showcases, but real love. True love, meaning commitment and sacrifice with an open heart, without ever expecting anything in return. Go watch Godzilla Minus One, and it will leave you breathless and begging for more, as great cinema does. And it's rare today. So it deserves all our support. And as my grandfather once said in his great toast, here's to the giants we face, to the battles we fight, and to the heroes we can become. It was a legend. And if you enjoyed the video and found value and hit the subscribe button, go out and see Godzilla Minus One and come back here and share your thoughts and we'll have a great discussion about it. And share this with everyone. To win every battle and stay true to yourself, all you have to remember is, we never bow down, we never bend the knee. Always forward. Godzilla Minus One! <laughs>